Huawei just made its proprietary Kirin 970 system on chip official. The company's CEO Richard Yu took the stage at IFA in Berlin to announce that Huawei's latest chipset will bet heavily on deep learning and artificial intelligence to deliver a vastly improved user experience in upcoming mobile devices. The first smartphones to feature the new Kirin 970 processor will be the Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro. The chipset has been developed in conjunction with Huawei's subsidiary High Silicon, and is built on a 10 nanometer process which enables it to deliver up to 20% better performance over the 960. But what's more interesting, is that the CPU will be paired with a new 12-core powerful GPU, as well as a dedicated NPU, aka Neural Processing Unit, which will be solely dedicated to handling AI tasks on the device. Huawei's vision of the future involves the deep integration of artificial intelligence in every smartphone, and not only on a software level. Huawei plans to employ its on-device AI to perform a multitude of tasks, such as, but not limited to, memory allocation, user interface rendering, camera image processing, load balancing, and task scheduling. These on-device tasks will be handled by the neural processing unit and software, which will also work in conjunction with Huawei's cloud AI to deliver the full experience the company is envisioning, you said on stage. The Kirin 970 from Huawei marks a new era in smartphone industry being the Huawei's first mobile artificial intelligence computing platform. The Kirin 970 has the following features. Open and inclusive ecosystem, developers could take advantage of it. Dedicated neural network processing unit. True understanding. Devices powered by the Kirin 970 will be able to truly know and understand their users. Battery life improvements. 50% improvement in energy efficiency means a much longer battery life. Fast by design. The Kirin 970 breaks through existing bottlenecks in mobile hardware. Peak performance. Built with the most advanced TSMC 10 nanometer process to give the best performance yet. Tiny transistors. 5.5 billion transistors in a single square centimeter. Packs a punch. The Kirin 970 combines an octa-core CPU and a 12-core GPU. Speedy download. Able to reach peak download rates of 1.2 GB per second. Ultimate gaming experience with graphics processing performance up to 20% compared to previous generation the Kirin 960. Put to the test. In a benchmark image recognition test. The Kirin 970 processed 2,000 images per minute which was faster than other chips on the market. Other details for the Kirin 970 show improvements over the Kirin 960. First is the movement to TSMC's 10 nanometer process, from 16FF+. The Kirin 960 launched a few months before the 10 nanometer ramp up for other high-end smartphone system on chips hit the shelves. So Huawei is matching their competitors here. The core configuration is the same as the 960, with 4 ARM Cortex A73 cores and 4 ARM Cortex A53 cores, this time clocked at 2.4 GHz and 1.8 GHz respectively. The integrated graphics is the newest Mali G72, announced alongside the A75 and A55 processors earlier this year which will be in an MP12 configuration. Frequency was not listed. Other sticker features include dual ISP for motion detection and low light enhancement, support for HDR10 with 4K60 decoding, 4K30 encoding, and an LTE category 18 modem, which Huawei states is good for 1.2 GB per second download. We'd be under the assumption that this is 4x carrier aggregation with 128 QAM. The Kirin 970 will also ship with an embedded security engine, supporting TEM and SE. The first phones to take advantage of Huawei's new SOC will be the Huawei Mate 10 and M10 Pro, which will be launching on October 16th. What do you think of new Kirin 970 which will equip the upcoming Mate 10? Let us know your thoughts and comments. To discover more Huawei and Android related content, don't hesitate to subscribe to the S Sorrels channel.